Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between normal incubators and BOD incubators. Okay, so here we are going to discuss about the what, why and how of this topic. That means what they are, why we differentiate them and how we can differentiate them. So at first we will discuss what, what they are. So this normal incubator, normal incubator is an equipment which maintain a constant temperature for growth and development of microbial cultures. So for a particular bacterial growth, we need a particular temperature for their incubation. So particular for particular incubation time, particular incubation temperature, we need this normal incubator. They maintain a constant temperature for the growth of microorganisms. Okay. And this BOD, what is, what is this BOD incubator? BOD, BOD incubator's role is same as normal incubator. That means they are also used to maintain a constant temperature for the growth of microbial cultures. Okay. So what are the difference? So now next we will discuss. So how, how we can differentiate them? We can differentiate them by their systems. That means this normal incubator have only heating system. They only, only have heating system. Only heating system is present in this normal incubator. But in BOD incubator, heating and cooling, both system are present. That means when we need a high temperature, that means if the room temperature is 25 or 27, and now if we need a temperature, incubation temperature that is 37 degrees Celsius, that means more temperature than this normal incubator we can use. But when we need a lower temperature than the room temperature, that means if we need a 20 degree Celsius temperature, incubation temperature and the room temperature is 25 to 27, then we need a cooling system. So here, this in this BOD incubator, heating system, that means we can, we can uh, get a higher temperature than room temperature and also we can maintain cooling temperature, that means lower than room temperature. So both system is present in this BOD incubator, but in normal incubator, only the heating system is present. So that is the most, if, that means the main difference between them. So that's why this BOD incubator is also known as the cooling incubator. It is also known as cooling incubator. But now the question is why, then why it is not called cooling incubator, it is called BOD incubator. So what is the meaning of BOD? So BOD means biological oxygen demand. And for biological oxygen demand determination, we need 20 to 25 degree Celsius. That's why and as we get that temperature, that incubation temperature of 20 to 25 degree Celsius in this cooling incubator, that's why we call this cooling incubator as BOD incubator because by this BOD incubator, that means by this cooling incubator, which is used for determining biological oxygen demand of a water body. What is this biological oxygen demand? That means what uh, the amount of oxygen, dissolved oxygen present in a water body. So for uh, calculating or determining that biological oxygen demand of any type of water body, we use this incubator, this cooling incubator where the 20 to 25 degree, degree Celsius, that means cooling temperature is required. So for that we need this BOD incubator and that's why it is called BOD incubator. Okay. And this normal incubator is used for growth of bacteria. Okay. And that's why it is also called the bacteriological incubator. And here the desirable temperature is 30 to 37 degrees Celsius. Okay. So as, as the, they are used for the growth of bacteria, it is called, known as bacterial incubation, bacterial incubator. Okay. And the next most important point or important difference between them is the, uh, that means this normal incubator is dependent on surrounding environment. That means their uh, work is dependent on surrounding environment. Okay. Because if the surrounding temperature is low, that means surrounding temperature is lower than the room temperature. Suppose this the surrounding temperature is 20 and the room temperature is 27. Okay. So that time the heating system will work and maintain a certain temperature which we need. Suppose the surrounding temperature is 20 
room temperature is 27 and we need a temperature of 30 to 35 suppose we need a temperature of 37 okay so that time if the surrounding temperature is lower than room temperature then then this time the heating system works and we can get a particular constant heating uh, constant temperature by this heating system okay and if the surrounding temperature is higher than room temperature or our setting temperature if suppose we need a 30 degrees we need 25 degrees celsius temperature setting temperature or incubation temperature is 25 degrees celsius but but the room temperature is 30 we need 25 degrees celsius temperature but the room temperature is 30 that time this this normal incubator cannot work because they don't have any cooling system okay so this is the disadvantage of this normal incubator but here this BOD incubator not affected by surrounding environment and totally independent because when the surrounding temperature is low that means if our setting temperature is 30 and the surrounding temperature is 20 or 25 this time the heating system will work and we will get a, get a constant temperature okay for incubation and if the surrounding temperature is high and our setting temperature is low suppose we need a incubation temperature that is 20 degrees celsius okay and our surrounding temperature or environmental temperature is 30 this time the cooling system will work and we will get a constant 20 degrees celsius temperature for a certain time okay so this is the main difference between normal incubator and BOD incubator and in our laboratory another one incubator is also used that is called the CO2 incubator and in that CO2 incubator the CO2 level is maintained where the 5% CO2 level is maintained in into the uh, incubator because they have, and that type of CO2 incubator is used for growth of anaerobic culture or anaerobic bacteria so for anaerobic bacteria we use co2 co2 incubator where the co2 level is maintained as 5% co2 okay so these are the main differences between the normal incubator and bod incubator okay thank you for watching this video